two for disorderly conduct last night. Aloy, what brings you to Meridian? A threat. Helis commands a legion of fanatics called the Eclipse. They will attack soon from the west, with an army of ancient war machines. But that's not the worst of it. They'll bring a mind with them, god, demon, machine, whatever you want to call it. It's called Hades. And it doesn't want Meridian at all. It wants the Spire. And if it gets there, it will send out a call, waking more ancient machines, more than we could ever defeat. All will be lost. We can't let that happen. I'm trying to understand, but my responsibility lies with Meridian. Meridian isn't the target, Avad. You have to defend the Spire. Perhaps the Vanguard, Your Radiance. Yes. Send them to the Spire. Aaron knows Aloy. He won't question it. And have the city guard fortify the western ridge. There they can be seen to protect Meridian and the Alight, where the Spire rests. Aloy. Allow me to... apologize for my behavior before. After everything that happened with Ursa, I was confused. If we're to fight together on the brink of life and death, I'd prefer to do so with your forgiveness. Then you have it. As long as you don't confuse me with her again. Even a king can learn his lesson. Good then. I'm, I'm glad that's behind us. Now, it will take time to prepare our defenses. Please, tell me what you know of our enemies. Everything. I don't know about everything, but I'll tell you what I can. Quietly does it. Panic in the city will only create another enemy. And do keep me appraised of each new arrival. Ah, Aloy. Preparations are underway on the ridge defenses and at the spire. Word was sent to every corner of the Sundom. Our allies offered their steel. Some came for Meridian, others for shards. But many came for you, by name. For me. Don't be so humble. And the Spire. Erend and the Vanguard are there? Indeed. Uh, clashing breastplates together and testing out their battle cries, I suppose. A number of the Nora have also arrived at the Spire. They have resisted the offer of a royal audience. Perhaps you could parley with them. I will. The ridge will be the front line. That's where the city guard are holding? Yes. Bolstered by some of the uh, irregulars I spoke of before. The Osaram cannons that thundered Meridian's walls in the Liberation will now defend us. You're welcome to tour the defenses. I suppose all we can do is wait for the attack. Exactly. It's not a feeling I cherish, but our spotters at Evening Sign report there's still no movement in the West. So, if there's more you need to do elsewhere, seize this time to do it. Otherwise, I've made the apartment of Olin Delverson available to you. You can sleep there, if sleep comes. Taller than the highest tree. These cards are in their frilled armor look like turkeys. But there are so many, and now... War Chief Sona. War Chief, you... you seem uncomfortable. The Nora do not belong here. I do not belong here. I will fight the Metal Devil that threatens us all. But my place 
is in the sacred land. The wrongness here jags at me like an arrowhead. I'm sorry to put you through this. Do not be sorry. This will be ended. My spear, my word. Greetings, Aloy. Don't. You don't need to bow. The anointed doesn't like it. She doesn't much like being called anointed, either. It means a lot to have you here, Varl. I gave my word. So, Meridian, what do you think? I've seen many new things since I first met you. I should thank you. Varl, what's wrong? You really want to know? All right. I'm in a foreign land, a tainted land, defending a faithless city that looks like nothing I've seen. From something I can't imagine. And you, after all that's happened, all you've done, I feel like I should drop to my knees and worship you, but I know you don't want that. Boy, things are pretty tough for you, huh? Thanks for telling the other Nora not to bow. It's the last thing I need. <laughs> don't be too hard on them. They only joined this fight because the Anointed bid it so. Is that why you came? No. I would have come just to see you one more time. And we must fight a metal devil because the goddess says, or because you say. I think the goddess and I are in agreement. We're both glad you're here. So am I. So who are these guys? They call themselves the Eclipse. What does that even mean? Aloy. <laughs> so here we are again, gearing up for a fight. Only this time it sounds like the bad guys have a lot more firepower. What are we up against, really? I'm not sure. But there's gonna be a lot of them, and they'll have machines. And if they get past us, it's not just Meridian that will fall. The rest of the world will go with it. Well, that's... big. It sounds like our kind of fight. Right, guys? Well, where do they put the vanguard? At, At the, the front, front of the line! line! And why? Steel before, before iron. iron! And what are we gonna do? Hit him like a hammer till he can't hit, hit back. back! Damn right! You hear that? Nobody's getting past the vanguard. We're here for Meridian. And we're here for you. Thank you, Aaron. Ursa would be proud. Well, only if we win. a bit with a weight like this pressing on you. How did you rust after you lost your family? Silence? Are you there? Guess I shouldn't ask ghosts for advice. There are signs from the west. Sun King of Ad awaits you at the Temple of the Sun. Campfires, perhaps? Massing forces for the long march to the city gates? That's not worth smoke. 
Then what is it? The end. Or how it begins, anyway. Bringers you spoke of. To the guns! To the guns! Now! By the sun, do as she says! <laughs> Set loaded! All of you, be ready to fire! <gasps> Will the guns hold them back? We're about to find out. Reinforcements. Aloy, no! We need those guns! He will cut you down! Not this time! You have fixed me long enough. Should have fought me in a sun ring then. more of this. What are you before the terror of the sun? The one who will take you down! I am chosen! You came from nothing! You will die on nothing! I am chosen. This was not meant to be. Chosen. Hades only chose you because you're a fool. A sadistic butcher too stupid to see you were being used. Your whole life was a failure. And soon, no one will even remember you. Turn your face to the sun and think about that!
tasty.
Aloy. 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 Tab. By all mother, you survived. I thought you were killed. The others, are they? No, no. Wounded, but alive, mostly. The machines blasted through, then kept going. They marched on the spire, dragging that thing with them. Take care of the others, Tab. I've got to go. They must have gotten through the defenses. Lenora, they're in Vanguard. I have to get up there. <sighs> they're alive. Aloy! It's Aloy! <laughs> well, you, you can see that. We thought you'd fallen at the ridge. No, the ridge fell on me. Look, there isn't a lot of time left. I have to face Hades. Not alone. It's my fight. I can't ask you to come with me. 
We were about to go over the top anyway, right? Right. Hawk and Thrush, let's go. I should stock up. Last chance. Master Override Arm to activate state name and rank. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Purging Extinction Protocol.
Okay, Gaia. Uh, sorry about that. Where was I? You were telling a story. Right. Yeah, so, um, like I was saying, it was a children's electronics kit, but I hacked the wiring to an auto battery and solar PV, so the grass caught fire. And uh, so did a, a tall pine that had stood there, I, I don't know, maybe a hundred years. Query, you were how old? Six. My mother was home, thank God, so she called the fire department, and after, she took me out to the lawn and showed me the dead baby birds, because there were nests in the pine tree. Query, what did you feel? I'm not sure. I remember yelling that I didn't care, and that's when my mother took my face in her hands and spoke. Query, what did she say? She said I had to care. She said, Elizabeth, being smart will count for nothing if you don't make the world better. You have to use your smarts to count for something, to serve life, not death. You often tell stories of your mother, but you are childless. I never had time. I guess it was for the best. If you had had a child, Elizabeth, what would you have wished for him or her? I guess I would have wanted her to be curious. and willful, unstoppable, even. But with enough compassion to heal the world, just a little bit. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow.